No, probably I don't have. You know, I've never ridden my bike before. <laughs> no. I that's type, a long ways. I have typed Kive is so long. That's a long ways to ride that bike yeah, yeah. all the way over there. Have you ever been to Paradise Brewery? What? Have you ever been to Paradise Brewery on 118? It's no. like a pair of dimes. I hate beer. Why Two would I dice. go to a brewery? You oh, remember where God. that uh, place was where we saw the band play? That little garage yes. place? Like, literally behind it is a brewery that you can go in and they, they microbrew their own stuff. No food, though. But they got a dark board and a ping pong table in the back, and it's pretty cool. You get a, you get a flight for like uh, I think you get a flight for twenty bucks, which is like twelve of every one of the beers they make while you're there. No little shot glass. Some of them are like gasoline beer; they're so bad. But it's, yeah. it's a fun night. I if you like beer, and it's I bet it but is. it's like right. I mean, it's literally a block oh, from my work. Are you asking him out? Yeah. Okay. I hate uh-huh. beer. <laughs> well, then if you hate beer, you can't come. Yeah. You lost me. At <coughs> beer. <laughs> you lost me. At what about... Do you shoot pool? Do you no, throw darts? Not poorly. Do you Do throw you, darts? Yeah. Not poorly means you're good. Like, what kind of darts are we talking about? Pup darts. No, like a dart board. That would you like? Good. Would you like want to go up to like the English pub at the corner and throw darts? You know, drink whiskey or something? Or do you not drink any liquor? I like playing pool. I enjoy it. Do you drink any kind of liquor? Um, Occasionally, I'll have like either Jack and Coke or a Well, why don't we do this, Kevin? A Chardonnay? He said Chardonnay. That ain't going to fly, but the Jack and Coke. We can do the Jack and Coke. Why don't we schedule a night where you don't have the kids where Pat's going to crash at your house and we all go up to the thing and we spend like four hours. I'm cool with that. Yeah, we can go to Molly Malone's with Even though I was pissed off that night, that was a fun night. Yeah, we we could get uh, you know somebody get punched in the back of the head like uh, Aaron that Molly dude, Malone's. Dude, you great. realize if I was there that night, shit would have oh, been man. totally different, don't you? Glick was he went off, dude, and I, I had to yell at both of them like, "Let's I saw go." Scott Glick, I'm like, is there another Glick? There's a shit? lot of Glicks, man. Man, he's got like six children. I'm and, telling you, if that like, guy, if I was standing there and that guy would have cold cocked Aaron. Oh, man, I would have taken bad. that kid out right then. Somebody there. already grabbed him, man. It was too late. I'm you couldn't you, touch man. him. He was it would have been bad news if I was there. Oh, I know. I've had dreams about that. I went inside and grabbed Glick. Dude, when we came back to the house, man, we were hanging out until the sun came up, and Aaron was like, why did you hit him back, man? He was all straight up like, let me ask you something. Why didn't you hit him? And I was like, dude, I pushed him off you, and then another guy, I pushed him into a guy, and the guy bear hugged him, and it went into the way into the parking lot, and... I stopped and turned back around and helped him up, you know, like, yeah. do you okay, you know? You got to gather your shit and get pretty quick when that Well, that, that too, but I, didn't, I wasn't or worried about punching some little kid. And I was like, he hit his head, man. Kick him in the balls. He hit his head on the pavement, dude, yeah. you know? Yeah, that too. See, I'm always thinking shit like that. But it was, it was not an you opportunity to do that. You don't fight to lose or to play. No, nope. but Pat, it was so, not. Like yeah, if the guy's got him in a bear hug, you could defuse the situation. I'm not going to punch would him. would never let that happen. Yeah. Murray would have, like, oh, that fuck guy. him. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have. Um, could you imagine that, Kevin, a boxing match? Take Kevin Holly show a boxing match, and it's uh, fucking Hoss versus fucking Murr in a boxing <laughs> match. No holds, like <laughs> no holds barred. No holds barred. Oh, man. Yeah, I like to watch cello fights, too. But... <laughs> cello fights? Yeah. You know, it's like of... the bass section. Mm-hmm. It's a rhythm mm-hmm. section. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not cello. Cello, cello fights. Oh. No, like, but we should all cello. go. We should hang out, like, for four hours at a bar. One Very night. good impersonation. Four of whole hours? Day, hey, Pat. Like, from eight to midnight. You want to hang out for four straight hours at a bar with me and Filbert? Yeah. Four we'll straight hours. Pool, play some darts. Yeah, some we'll play some... Rum and Cokes. We'll drink some Goldschlager. <clears throat> Do some karaoke. Is negotiable? Or is it four You're going to spend the night at Kevin's house that night. Yeah, we'll crash like uh, army buddies, man. I was never in the we'll army. We'll clear out his family room. room. We'll all get like fucking nuts. We'll bunker down. Are you going to be my battle buddy? We'll yeah, bunker we'll down battle buddies. Leave no yeah. man behind. Fuck yeah. Leave no man's behind. Let's do it. Probably a hard pass on this whole thing. Well, I mean, Thank it's better. Dude, and then we'll go a hard swimming. pass? Naked in Kevin's pool. I'll do that, Come on, dude. I do it all the time. Yeah, probably gonna. Literally, right around the corner from here, Pat, right is there. a nice English pub we can go to. Yeah. You want to make it a Let's go now. Cool thing. And then we'll get butt naked and wrestle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In I, the pool. Uh, I got dibs. I'm, I'm good. Well, no, I'm thinking about it now, and I'm I'm rethinking this whole thing, it's and I'm probably good. Probably a good idea not to. Yeah, I don't want to. 
No, but seriously, we what? should we should hang out somewhere local where we can do that and come back. You got you got a place. He's asking us out, man. I'm just saying we should do something where I don't have to feel like He's obligated. Like, I just want to hang, man. How can I be down? We're like two hours later. I go fuck this. I'm going home. With my yeah. family. you guys are fucking. Hungry. You'll drag us out somewhere, <laughs> and we get there, and you won't even be there. And you'll be like, oh, about? I have could I go. Ever let you down? Oh my god. <laughs> Almost weekly. Pat, I was in a fight with my wife. And uh-uh. I got so mad I left the house and it's I called real. Kevin from, from the bar and I was like, dude, you want to just hang out at the bar? And I didn't even tell her where I was going. Next I was like, I know, happy to be open, you know. I was free at the time. I, I just lit go two figure. of them. Oh. I thought this was weird. It was, uh... Okay, <laughs> I just lit two of them. I don't want to put it out. <laughs> oh, wow. Next thing yes. I know, Kevin's yes. like, I'm, I'm Ubering. I'll be there in 10 minutes. And Kevin shows up and him and I spent the I turned off my night. Uber. <laughs> I walked, I drove right over there. I was in town. I was right there. I was we at like Little and against a lesbian tag team. Oh, it was great, Kevin man. They were so cool. I did not. No, I, I mean, I not. probably could have, but no, yeah, there was, there, there, dude, look, there, there was, was beautiful women there. I Whatever. Forgot you know. that I totally beat that guy in arm wrestling. Yeah. Oh, well, we did the Run DMC thing as yeah. well. The guy looked like, uh, like, uh, he uh, looked like he was dressed like Run DMC. He was a white guy, but he was like six foot two. Like, like Run and Run, man. Yeah. He had a little black hat full body suit, man. Yeah. And I went to, to the, the top box and Kevin put on <laughs> from the UMC. I know, I didn't. Like, oh, I went up to yeah. the I went up to the karaoke guy and I, I put a dollar in his tip jar. And I was like, hey, here's a buck. Whenever you get a chance, could you play anything from Run DMC for the by guy the at the bar? The night, that and he, guy was three songs later, he did shots. it. Man. Oh, it was great. It was our no, it was Rumple Mints, man. Rumple Mints. That's yeah, right. we did Rumple Mints These shots. These guys man. promised me four hours of stories just like this. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Dude, we made stories that in that four hours. Yeah. Literally, Pat. Yeah, this literally. This guy Pat. was like six foot, 300 pounds. And I said, you're pretty big. Do you want to arm wrestle? And he arm wrestled me, and I beat him. And he, he was did. like, what the hell? He was like, like flowers for flowers. Algernon. Like, what happened? He was all flowers for Algernon. Like, I beat him. I beat Algernon. <laughs> Dude, he's running around the bar. I beat and him. And after I beat him, he bought me another Jägermeister. Or Rumpel. Rumpel Mints, yeah. Four hours at these. Four hours. Oh, uh, was awesome. It was great. You can yeah. tell stories too, Pat. Yeah, we'll let you talk. We'll let you talk. It's cool. We're just hanging out, arts house, you patio, make fun of the lesbians. chilling. You got to be cool. With hey man, those, lesbians. those lesbians were cool as shit, man. Granted, well, they were. We the Kevin, subway, Kevin yeah. didn't know they were lesbians nope. at first. Are there any subways? Chick is, that's how innocent the I am. One chick is petting her girlfriend's hair. I didn't even know. Are no there any idea. subways on the way to this event? It's right there. Yeah. There's, there's like a, a sandwich. Gas right station and no, sushi. I mean like a subway that we get on with a train. Why, you want no. to bitch us? No, yeah. Like a lady boy? Yeah, like ghost us. <laughs> <laughs> like a lady boy. <laughs> that ain't cool, Pat. Yeah. Why are you going to rip on lady boys, fun. man? Lady boys are people, too. We're talking about a night of full-fledged fun. Mm-hmm. Unabashed. Sabbatical. Right, what happens at Kevin's house afterwards, that's between you guys. It's yeah. going home. Yeah, it's a day of Sabbath. It's Sunday night. It's sabbatical. Uh, okay, here's how we do it. Right? You're the radical we, sabbatical. Here's how we do it, Kevin. We yeah. do it on a Saturday night. Okay. Pat comes. Got we it. We go out all night long. We're all night. You guys come For at least four we hours. We sleep it off, and the next morning we get up and we cook fucking wings and fish on his grill and we watch football. Right? Oh, I like that idea a lot. Wings and fish in the morning. We wake up yeah, and we start o'clock. cooking. Yeah. Whenever we wake up. Like, we, watch, we watch football. You can braid my back hair. It'll probably still be warm enough to go in the pool if you want to. Yeah, totally will be. The pool's like 80 still, man. You know? Let's do it tonight, man. Right now. No, not tonight, man. Okay. We gotta plan this shit out. Yeah, next weekend. Yeah. What's up? That sounds right. Okay. So, cool. Pat's good with next weekend. So, when Kevin discovered it's not like you got puberty, a job. he clearly did disclose this to his brother. What? I'm going back to my original theory uh, of a childhood exploit exploration. No, when I was a teenager, Kevin used to look at me and say stuff like, yeah, your friends are a bunch of dicks, all you guys do is chew beer and date girls and baby all, cool, did not. all cool stuff. None of that and happened. Then, and then when he became a teenager, you know, I could listen to four That's hours bullshit. stories when he became a teenager, he was Kevin like, having hey, troubles man. like that. Oh, it was classic. <laughs> That's bullshit. Like, all I want to do is play fucking Mario Brothers on Nintendo and you and your friends are over here. Absolute bullshit, Old man. Truth, I'm calling dude. you out now, bullshit. I can totally remember you telling me you and your friends are all gay dicks. One, all man. you guys do is go out and drink beers. That's but crap. Do you used to say that all the time? I always want to hang you. out Look with you, you and your Look friends. You. What's the age man. difference between five years? Five years. Who's older? Me. Who's older? I love it. <laughs> well, not, really? Thank you. For the it was not mentally apparent. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I think, I think that was a compliment. You think that I'm was a sure. compliment? I'm not sure. For <laughs> I'm not sure but I'll take it. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I mean, I'm not sure about that. No worry. You guys are dumb. I'm obviously <laughs> better looking, you know, and younger. So, yeah, you know, thank you. Come on. Go for, I could put up I mean, four hours of stories. About I'm having, basically like, uh, <laughs> I got when he was young too. who's that soccer player? The hot guy that we love? Butch Diggs, me. Remember Fuck that time? You, Remember that time like in the kitchen? trying to change it from Remember stories time in the about kitchen Kevin when, when he was your friend with soccer? One time I was, I was at home and Kevin oh, was with his go. friend and he tried to show up and he was all tough and everything, right? And so I pushed him and his friend was like, you did, you did, you did. That was Steve. So me and Kevin got in a fight. No, no, was, it was at, this was at Huntington. That was Sale. No, and that was Steve at Sale. kicked me in the balls, dude, and it hurt so oh, bad. Oh, that was different, yeah. I didn't know what to do, but I didn't, yeah. want, I didn't want to let his friend and him have the upper hand. So I grabbed Kevin mm. and I literally threw him eight feet in the air. He landed a like on the next love to the seat. couch on the love on seat. It, yeah. And I was already running at him. And when he hit the ground, I straddled him and punched him in the chest. MMA style. Yeah. And then I ran up to my bedroom. I was, I like, was like six. You fucking want more? And I went up to my bedroom and I was like, oh, oh. This is like why I cry, my I cry myself my to sleep. So bad. Yeah. <laughs> I waited for Good him to dick. leave before I what came out of my bedroom. What did you him in the balls for? Because we were like fighting. He's an asshole. What was the fight over? Listen to I him. I was always a dick. What was the fight over? Him being a dick? All More time. Specifically. He was you being. Guys a, only okay, remember that part we were hanging or... out. We were hanging out, and he started being a dick, I and I kicked him in the balls. What, what was it he said that turned? Does it matter, in Pat? The... That actually. It's does. one of many. It's one of many. There was another time where get, I was totally wrong. Either you remember Kevin, what that was. Kevin was living with me at my house. house. He's a bully. He's a big bully. Yeah, Kevin was living with me at my house. My I'm first innocent. house, right? And he went on vacation and he left his motorcycle behind. And he left uh, explicit instructions. Do not ride, ride my, my bike. bike. Yeah, do so not my friend, ride my motorcycle. My a Kawasaki 750. Oh, so cool. Kyle, drive. good for him. Yeah. And Shaft go, drive. Come on over. We'll take the motorcycles. We'll go up to Hooters. So he comes over to my house. And he's like, looks at my brother's bike. He's like, oh, I want to ride it. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. He gets on his thing. He they goes basically traded bikes. He feet around the corner and wipes out. PJ was like, let, I can't let you ride my brother's bike. So I'll ride... My, and they went to Hooters, and then no. Before that happened, dude, they stole my bike. Before it happened, my friend got on Kevin's bike, took it around the corner too fast, laid it down, and hit his head on the curb, and he's bleeding from his head. He, he scuffed walks, up his leg he tattoo. Walks the bike also, back home, and there's, there's a like mess. The, the Bloody bike, mess. The bike is fine. You guys still went to Hooters? Yeah, yeah. We got back on the bike. You drove his at that point. No, I drove my brother's bike, and he yeah. drove his bike. Yeah, yeah. And we, we shared a picture. So are you here. sure you're buying the story about... Yeah, no, he messed up my bike. Guy. My bike he was all beat the, up. He bent yeah. the brake handle he still and the it. lever. I had to have him fixed. So, so Kevin comes home. That was a GS450T. Suzuki. Yeah. I love that bike. It was like a cafe and, racer. And Kevin comes home, and the first thing he does is look at his bike. And mm-hmm. I've got a big, strong cable not, guy running cable in my attic. In I'm my out house. of town. And Kevin comes Come home back. with our friend Steve. And the bike's first all thing fucked Kevin up. does is go... Who rode my bike? Yeah. What the hell? And it I wasn't was like, like it was moved in the garage. And it was like not where I left it. Crashed. It was all fucked up, yeah, like <laughs> you know. And I'm like, so, what? Oh. So Kevin comes in and starts yelling at me. And I'm like, fuck you, blah. blah. We yeah, we got a big fight. In the kitchen. Yeah. The cable guy comes out of the attic, tried to break it up. Big fucking wrestler guy. He's like, what's going on here? And me yep. and Kevin are like. I got his neck up against the wall and Steve. No, I had PJ up against the fridge is what he it was. He did. And then I pushed I him into said, the kitchen thing. I said something along the lines. It was so blood sport. I said, if I bleed, you bleed or something like that. And I put my fist in PJ's face and PJ pushed me so hard. And then I pushed him back so hard. Mm-hmm. And then that cable guy got in between us. Yep. And Steve acted like a little bitch. He didn't do nothing. No, he didn't do nothing. nothing. I had Kevin yeah. up against him with one arm and I had a fist cock. Like yeah, I and so did I. And we then, were about to kill each and other. Then you know, we broke it all up, and then I went and I repaired Kevin's bike, and then I ended yeah, up trading cool. Kevin for a, a better yeah, we've bike. We've always been and cool. It was cool after that. Yeah, that is the yeah. closest that him and I actually really came to, to real cups. blows as yeah. adults. True, well, you did true. kick him in the nuts. Well, those are, uh, that we was kid kids. stuff. Yeah. yeah. As adults, though, that was the only time. Yeah, and and since then, honestly, I don't think we've no. ever fought. No, that you was a breaking some, point for me. I you, realized I was wrong with that whole thing. Well, it doesn't was, matter, bro. But but you think about it, man. In our adult lives since then, it's 20 years, man. We've never really argued. 
Mm-hmm. Every once in a while, you'll Have you guys be, ever resolve yeah, that. You know, I want to go back to what started. Yeah, we should fight right now. With. We should fight right now. That's and, why and I want to go you know? back to what started the Let's whole thing do it. to begin with. You guys, have what started the whole this. thing was I was such a and stud I think if we can unblock, <laughs> he was a stud. If we was, can unblock the exact reason, we I was can irresponsible. Get into a nut kicking situation. Filbert, here, Pat. Filbert was jealous of my nonchalant. Uh, not a care in the world, happy go lucky personality in my twenties, and he was trying to make a name for himself, really comes build a house. My entire life, he was jealous was of my awesome. My... No, you know? was always <laughs> hanging on my coattails. Uh, I was following him around. I was like here. six when I kicked him in the nuts. Man. Every time this is our adult life. Sleep over, Kevin had to be there every time. Oh, well, I did. Kevin had so an eleven-year-old beat up a twelve. He never beat Thirteen, me up. Uh, twelve-year-old, <laughs> one thing straight. An eleven-year-old, eleven-year-old. I never beat him up. A six-year-old basically Let's bullied me. Yeah. He never beat me up. So well, I started the, the it by the kicking him in the nuts. Situation. Yeah, that was my yeah. fault. I, I was started. the fight thing. He, you he, were he went over the line with the nuts. Thing. I had to, or else I get my ass. Now, he, he was, was like, he was like eleven. Did you really figure it out then? And when I was six, you beat up a six-year-old. No, yeah. he was like 11 then when he kicked me in the nuts. Yeah, you're How a old bully. Were you when he kicked him in the nuts. Ah, uh, six, I believe. Oh, uh, you were like 11. Six. There's a big difference. Uh, you know, I don't know, like man. 11. Although when he was six, it was a blur. Of, yeah. It was. Uh, I'll answer head. you, Pat. It was a blur of being bullied by my older brother <laughs> for so long <laughs> that I can't even remember. You got to know the difference between when you. Were I can't six remember. And I'm a victim. I'm a victim. I was like 17 what, or 18. Were you Five in years school? later, would have made him 10 or 12. I don't recall, what Pat. What movie had just come out? That was Ferris Bueller's Day Off. No, it was so I was like, like seven, it was seven or that. ten. It was Huntington. I'll give you a seven. It was Huntington. I was 17 or 18. Five years younger. So he Huntington. beat up a seven-year-old. I was in eighth grade yeah, in Huntington. Been like 12. So I was 11 or 12. Yeah. Fine. I'll give you but that. prior to that, when so he was six, 11, you were 18. You were a dog, by, a dog hide bone in my head. <laughs> uh. So you're 11 or 12, kicking your brother <laughs> I, 17 in the nuts. Mm-hmm. I, well, I had to do what I had to do, man. He paid dearly for it. He crossed the line in the mansion sure. and kicked me in the nuts. I'll admit to it. I took my beatings. You would have waited to you. You could have got him. I know. You know I know. Had Juvie. All the, all the like, yeah. I should do it like now. That. That's what Shoot. brothers do. But when you kick a brother in the Statues balls, it's man shit at that point. No, uh Don't no, pull like, this totally bullshit changes. man card crap with me. That's crap, dude. Kick me in my balls, bro. Oh my I god! Used my balls back Look, then. saying man card something. I was using my balls on a nightly basis with Natalie, and you kicked my balls. There was no I got these balls. They game. still work. Yes. I got these balls, I and I'm using kids. them on a daily basis. And he closed. kicks me. He kicks me in my balls. Case Listen, closed. bro. I wouldn't have kicked you in the your balls if you didn't bully me, man. You kicked Natalie's balls, dude. She had That's balls. That's what you did. Wait, they were her wait, balls back wait, then. She had balls. My balls were her balls back then, and you kicked them. She you kicked Natalie's wait, balls. You you dated a girl that had balls? No, I think you yeah. Uh, you just that's what you said. Not only did you encroach on how my big were her balls, but you encroached on her sexual. Was her name really Nate? Was was it Nate's balls? Nice try, but you you you're, you're missing the point here. I think just I, like you missed the fight and uh, lost it. Pat, listen, he bullied me so much that it's hard to keep up. <laughs> okay, I did bully him a lot. Of. So, what was the argument when you were eleven? Um, you he was a dick. Nuts. He was a dick. There's got to be something he's specifically Dude, literally, said I came to home me. and he said shit like, You and your friends are such losers. And I just had enough and I pushed him and I called him a loser. And, and I then he kicked him in the, in the balls. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, I wish Natalie's I had some balls, better. basically. I'm well, going to tell her that. Her balls right. were like a Newton's cradle. They went bing, bing. Do you bing, still bing, consider bing. him and his friends losers? Oh, yeah. Um. My friends were cool. Come on, Pete, Billy. No, yeah, Tony. I love Pete, Billy, and Tony. Uh, Billy, probably imagine, my favorite. Imagine, uh, maybe Pete's my favorite. So why yeah, Pete is yeah. Imagine if you had grown up back then, like because that. they picked on me. They wouldn't let me skate yeah. with them. They wouldn't let me sleep over. They wouldn't let me draw UFOs we let in the car. Yeah, that's that. what I'm looking yeah. for. Bring that out. Get it out. It's all out already, man. You don't have to help us. It's not an inter- intervention, man. We're good. No, we're good. Yeah, it's already been if done. You imagine clearly if you would have imagined clearly. You're still talking about it. 20 years, 30 years. Imagine years. It's that. just conversation at this point, Pat. I mean, the, the hashing it out is over. Became my friends you, later in life, Pat. you want to kick him in the nose. Listen, no, I don't. Most Phil, of Kevin's friends became my best yeah, friends later in life. Phil's core of influence is a collection of all of our friends. friends. Should make him proud. No, no, I've stolen as many he of his friends as he has friends stolen mine. So cool yeah. Look at Andy Grimm you're friends with. Look at... Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh. So he stole a better quality. Better quality. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, Benjamin Steve, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why Actually, hasn't Pete, Pete tried to first. steal me? Yeah, I met Pete first. I saw him first. Mm-hmm. Why yeah. hasn't yeah. Phil tried to steal me? He Because he hates you. He told me he thinks yeah. you're a dick. I think you're a dick. You're a dick. That's why. God. You're going to yeah. go for the show. Yeah. You never take you a shower. You never Your fucking hat smells. Same shirt all the time. Your bike is a fag bike. Yeah, it's uh, orange. Those boots you're wearing. They're made for walking. Mike's not a bag. Just bike. you know what? Just take a lap. <laughs> yeah, of all the things he's like, listen. Mike's not a bag. Just tuck, just tuck in your shirt and take a lap. Yeah. All right. Suck it up, man. Yeah, man. Take a lap, dude. I mean, have some respect for yourself. He Pat. can't handle pass. I did offer to take you to a bar. Maybe I am trying to steal. He can't handle. Yeah, maybe true. I am yeah. trying. To steal maybe he is. Pass. He did. No, <laughs> yeah, he is. That's what I'm he saying. Is. Trying to see if I could go pool. Yes, yeah. so yeah. no he idea. does still do this. Subliminally, think of this. You gave me two smokes tonight. Oh, oh, yeah. he's, yeah. what's I, happening there? He, no, yeah. but I mean, he's, yeah. 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 That's. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of gay. Though, a I little really bit didn't gay. Want to go to the Cody Bike Fest with you? That was like my one. Plan. One would be cool. But a couple or a handful, like, hey, man, that's like asking for redemption afterwards. Like, <laughs> you know, like now you're trying to make him your bitch. We're like, you know, we're like uh, you and I, we're kind of like, uh, I would say, um, real close. With Vikings? Swayze okay. And um, Dirty Dancing. No, no, oh, no. Roadhouse. No. Patrick Swayze and, and uh, 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 Charlie Sheen in, uh, oh, in, okay. in uh, Wolverines. I was thinking of Red Van Damme. Dawn. Red Dawn. I get it's it. kind of like yeah. Red Dawn, right? I get it. Yeah. I would, after you got shot, I would totally would hug you, you carry and me? walk you off. Would yeah. you fireman carry me back? Yeah, totally. Oh, see, Pat, that's what I'm talking about, man. There's no reason to hash it out. He's going to fireman carry me. Exactly. You know? After he gets shot, I'm going to take uh, care of his <laughs> The Russian Red Dawn or the North the Korean original Red, Red Dawn? Dawn. The, the one where they shave Ryan's privates. Yeah. Did you ever see Shaving Ryan's privates? No. It was but there. I, I seen Schindler's Fist. think I like the same. Did you know? How about uh, Schindler's Fist? Pa- Did you know? Uh, Snatch quick, Adams? Uh, quick, quick thing here. <laughs> um, Snatch grab him. The North Trump. Koreans, it was originally... <laughs> It was originally Chinese army that they were uh, fighting okay. in the second Red Dawn. Uh, Red Dawn. I don't the count remake. the second Red Dawn as a movie. But Sorry. China, the bitch. hunt, the cunt Listen. for Red October. Kevin, the cunt for Red October. Sorry, the cunt for Red October is awesome. Ch- <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I swear to yeah, like China was worse. an intelligent, like a like a okay. I'm sorry. Break you away from. <laughs> break away from. You've heard this before. No, never. <laughs> I like this guy we Steve have already. Before. We have. <laughs> Come on, Pat. Carry on. I don't know. Come on, fellas. Why would I know with that? <laughs> <sighs> Something fresh will pop up in a few moments, and it will be like maybe not though. Gone. Maybe like, not. I can see why people kick you guys in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. clears throat> I don't think I've been kicked in the nuts. This is why we take over any. Part Have you of ever kicked him in the nuts? Yeah. No. I've I'm really disappointed. I haven't You've been able them. to get. I've nut checked him before. Yeah. Sure. I'm really disappointed. I haven't been able to get one of you two. To well, Pat. Each other in uh, the nuts we don't yet. do that, man. We're family. One time I was. First, bro. One time I was riding that. Run it all the way to Red Dawn. You know that bike that know, you that gave me, to, shit, to, it? bro. You know the bike you gave me the the orange Kevin, bicycle. How does it feel trying uh-uh. to like um, tell a story or something? And, yeah, when and just Tough. somebody just keeps talking. That's why they're so they long. Hear you going, bro. That's why they're so long. <laughs> and they just keep talking. Beverly Hills, Cucks. man. I I should Beverly Hills cooks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one time I was riding. Her thighs only. I was riding the bicycle that Filbert gave me. It was a track bike, right? Which bike? The orange one with oh, the one yeah. speed, the fixed bike, the fixie bike. bike. And so I'm riding it. And I go to cross Little Road by uh, the Trinity Plaza where uh, Target is over there, right? Approaching Mitchell Ranch Road or whatever. Sure. And 54 and Little, basically. And I'm coming out um, oh, okay. Mercy Way. They call it Mercy Way. I don't know why. Yes. Mercy Way is What's that. The hospital? I guess so. Sure. Going all but it's pretty much the entrance to Target. You know, it's the back entrance to the hospital. So calling it Mercy Way is like the back door to the hospital. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I'm exiting it's that. Mercy I'm riding down that hill towards Little Road where the intersection is, the stoplight. 
and I'm about to cross, and a car turned left in front of me, and I had no back brakes. All I had was that front brake, you know? Yep. So I squeezed it as hard as I could, and it didn't really do much, but it did enough to throw me off the seat. So oh, I put, I put my foot up. down, and the seat, the whole bike came up. And, oh, man. In the middle of my story, in the middle of my story. It's okay. The story wasn't going anywhere. Anymore. So the bike. Roxy. Hey. Roxy. Hey. Shh. Come here. Shut up. Tell them the story. Come here, Roxy. Hey. Hey, get that dog, Phil. Come here, Roxy. Look at Phil on point, man. Getting the dog. Good job, Phil. I'm proud of you, man. Saving my story. Maybe getting eaten by coyotes. I hope, dude, I hope the dog bites him. I hope it bites him. Roxy, get him. Get him, Roxy. Bite him. Get him. <laughs> All right. Is there a There she is. Look at the sweet Roxy baby girl. Good girl. Oh, I love you. I love you, too. So, is it all about how you rack your nuts? Yeah, dude, I'm coming down that driveway on Mercy Way, and this is why I think they call it Mercy Way, because I was going down that hill, and Mercy. somebody turned left in front of me. I didn't hit the car, but I racked myself, because I hit the front, all I had was a front brake, and it didn't, I wanted it to skid, and I wanted to just let go of the bike and put my feet down and just walk off of it, but I couldn't. It bounced back up, and the, the, the bar on the top of the bike frame, you know, racked my nuts, but it didn't hurt my nuts. It hurt my asshole. Oh. It hit me right square this? like a year and a half ago. It hit like last summer. It hit me it square in the asshole like so a, hard. That was a honeypot shot, dude. Right it it felt <laughs> a honeypot shot. It it the the you feeling. Like yeah, thank you. The the feeling that. went into my my core, my inner core. You know what I mean? Yeah. I and that. that's kind of how I felt listen, when you kicked my balls. I like. I you know how like when you kick in the balls, you feel like you're gonna throw up. Yes. Well, this hit my butthole so hard, I thought you that I was going to lose my ball, bowels and yeah. shit myself. That's how hard it hit me. So I limped back, walked my bike back up that hill, and as soon as I found a spot where I could lay the bike down in the mulch, you know? You started rubbing your tank. That's what, what I did. Bike were you? It was a fixed speed, like, Just touring street, bike. street b- bicycle, bicycle. Like, a, like a riding bicycle, but it was a trainer bike. It had one yeah. speed. It didn't have, and so it only had one brake on it, you know? How old were you? Uh, this was like two years ago. 42? <laughs> 41? <laughs> I'm thinking that so, the street hasn't been there that much. No, bro. So I then I laid in the mulch for a minute, and I gathered you my... laid in the mulch? Yeah, dude. Why I laid you in, over there on a... I was going to the gym. I was riding my bike through the back Mercy Way behind the hospital, uh, down, down Starkey Boulevard, up 54 to the hospital parking lot, around the back of the hospital by where Zimzari and all that is. And that's between the hospital and Zimzari is where, uh, no, between Target and the light at Little Road by the end of Target is where this incident happened. And I walked back up that hill at that intersection, laid in the mulch for like four minutes maybe. Then I thought I had enough in me to go back and ride home. And I it started walking. <laughs> I It was like I thought I was going to shit my pants. So I went back as far as I could go into the parking lot thinking I'm going to shit at any moment, you know? But I had to get away from the median mulch that I was laying in, you know, where the bums hang oh, out. Coming, yeah. yeah, so I walked my bike into that left side parking lot right there, like right by a little road. There's like some bushes and a couple palm trees and whatnot, you know? And I laid the bike down in the grass, and I laid back down, and I expected to shit my pants. And I was holding my belt buckle, like I'll slide them down when I'm ready. Hopefully I won't, you know? And I sat there for like 10 20 minutes and I laid down and dude, no joke. I fell asleep. I (laughs) fell asleep. I literally was hurt, injured in the butthole so bad that I fucking (laughs) shut down and I fell asleep. It was horrible, dude. I I fell asleep. (laughs) (laughs) Don't kill your family. You know, you know what what I mean? Oh, but bro, nearly wrecked him. Yeah, killed. So I woke up in covered in mulch and dirt. Red ants? No, there was, thank God, no ants. And I woke up and I was like, holy shit, that's real. It really happened. And I got, and I walked my bike almost all the way to Target before I got on yourself? it. You no, did. I did you, not shit you myself. Suck getting I that didn't. Kind of bike after you shit dude, the ride home, I got off the bike and walked. It was it horrible, dude. I've never been so injured in my life. Like I've been hit in the head. I've fallen off stuff from from up in the air, you know, and landed on my body. 
I have skateboard accidents, man. Motorcycle accidents, you were, man. You were anally That violated. was the worst, dude. That you was the worst. Violated. You yeah. were anally concussed. I was concussed anally, man. You suffered an anal concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse What's me. What's the medical term for an anal concussion? Scoring. I don't know. <laughs> Scoring. <laughs> A good Tuesday night. <laughs> A good Tuesday. Oh, man. Dude. Thursday, we, I we believe, used to in come, Afghanistan. Before we moved to Florida, our grandparents lived in holiday, and we would come visit them every Christmas. And my uncle is 10 years older than me, so he was like 17, and I was like, you know, 10 or 7 years old. It's consensual. And You're he okay, had, both of you. He, he doesn't a, know math. He had a <laughs> if it's consensual, you both were okay. <laughs> but you don't know the numbers. He had, he had a 10 speed, right? But it was like a 26-inch men's 10 speed, and look at us. Right? Well, full so size back, I would man. get on this thing and I'd have to lean it up against the wall to climb onto it. So I'm like zipping up and down the street in Holiday where my grandparents live. And in Illinois, we have nice curbs on our streets and we have sewers where the, it's very the affluent, iron bar you know? the iron bar runs perpendicular so you could ride right over them. Yeah. Well, in Florida, so if you off. even have an iron bar on the sewers, they're Iron Bomb Mafia. And so I'm riding real fast, and I see the sewer, and I'm like, oh, I can't move. I'll just ride right over it. But I didn't realize that the grates went the same way the tires went. So as soon as the front tire hits it, it went straight down to the oh, bolts, right? Man. And I just, end over the end. bike stopped, end over. and I went, bam, right into the neck, right on my balls. Oh, I man. thought it ripped my sack off. I went flying off the bike, landed on the ground, and I was in so much pain. And the bike is standing inside the sewer like this. And I'm like, oh, Oh, and I'm looking, checking for blood and everything. <laughs> I thought I was going to vomit right there. Kevin, I got stars. I got dizzy. I thought I was going to pass out. And I was like, this seven year old kid. And I walked the bike back all the way down Rock Valley Drive to, to Neem's house and parked it in the garage and went inside and laid down. Was that the red 10 speed? No, nah, it was like white. It had right. like those little, hoop, little, you know, handlebars and everything. Yeah, that's the, the best 70s. kind. Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude, it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life, dude. Pat, what's the worst pain you ever felt in your life, man? You ever rack yourself on a 10 speed? <laughs> Shout no. out, I, I'm sorry. Being that we're all comedians, I would have to respond <laughs> to this conversation. Just, it would be like perfect, <laughs> but that's not true. Um, worst pain in my life, yeah, probably pick out the first divorce. We could start there. Well, actually, my dad dying on Father's Day. That's no, come like, on, come on. Physical pain. Yeah, uh, physical come on, man, pain. don't bring it. All right. I'm sorry about your dad. Well, I can't come to like an yeah. anal concussion. <laughs> we already are in love, you know. You don't have to sell us. Like an anal concussion situation. Yeah, please. The Zamboni, maybe. But you didn't get in pain for that. Uh, when I was very young, such as this lad described his incident, um, we set up a ramp on our bikes, and the ramp was plywood uh, on top of chicken wire, a roll <laughs> of chicken wire, which was. Very bad idea. That's yep. Michigan for you. Because as soon as my front tire left the ramp, the back tire acted as a spring, and I did a complete 360 in the air with the bike landing on my back with the bike on top of me. And that was very poorly planned and executed stunt. That <laughs> you could have been paralyzed, off. yeah. I fell out of a tree once and landed on a stump thing. Almost killed me. My sister was scared. She thought it was a monkey falling out of the tree. Really? Monkey? You're a big dude. How big were you? No, I was not large. Uh, this was, I was probably <laughs> about nine or ten uh, at that time. Tell me more about those days, man. Speaking of anally concussed, <laughs> this is a bad story. Speaking of anally anal concussion. One time I was playing basketball at Lauren Haverkamp's house when their parents were gone. Oh, they, man. They had a... Uh, one of those mini trampolines, real small, like jogging trampolines. And we, we put it under the, the net and we lowered his basketball net to eight feet so we could do slam dunks and stuff. Well, I caught some air and I did a slam and I fell sideways and it was winter time. So they had this shrub line going across their driveway. There were no leaves or anything, just sticks and shrubs. I fucking landed sitting on, and it went, dude, the stick went right up my ass. story was going to end up with a woman. You know, this, it always goes stick, up his ass. A every stick story. went right through my shorts, put a hole in it, and went right up my asshole. Cut my asshole. Like, uh, like in South, like Cartman in South Park. Exactly. Why does everything have to be about something coming in and or going out of my asshole? Everybody was laughing. Episode one. <laughs> everybody was laughing. I was like, guys, no, I think I'm going to hurt. He had an alien out of my asshole, dude. It was horrible. Man. 
Um, How many times have you blood from the asshole from trauma? That's the from trauma. <laughs> How about you, <laughs> Kevin? Well, you guys have each. I there was no one. blood. There was no blood. There in was mine. almost poo. No, no blood. Could have been. There probably was blood. Dude, Pat, it vibrated you my soul. Such it, 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 it hurt so bad. It went through my core and it vibrated my whole body. And it, my whole rear end went numb. Both ass cheeks, my thighs, down to my knees, and up my back went numb. That's how hard it hit and how much it hurt. I went numb. I had to lay down. And I thought I was going to shit. Down? Yeah, and then I fell asleep, dude. <laughs> I literally fell asleep, man. When Kevin got in a motorcycle accident. I bet he shit was driving home. I didn't. At like 2 in the morning. can't fall asleep with an anal concussion. That was the, the Mets versus Yankees World Series. <laughs> we watched the World Series. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to go home. I got the shit, so I'm tired. cut him off, and he T-boned the car and flew over the handlebars. My accident was horrible, Landed on the ground and got knocked down. 20 minutes later, he's sitting in an ambulance. Really? Yeah. Dude, I had the worst motorcycle accident. It was he October 22nd, 2000. Like, oh, my God, Kevin's neat. Come oh, up. that was on a motorcycle? Yeah, yeah. I was freaking out because he called me from the hospital. Can you, guys you flipped over me? the car? Dude, I, okay. was I was going down Grand Boulevard in Newport Ritchie, approaching the intersection at State Road 54. And you go down the hill by the auto zone, mm-hmm. by Trouble Creek, and then you come Blind back up. Hill. You come up and there's a, left, a right turn. You come right. up, it's Gray Street, and it's like some duplexes in the neighborhood, you know? And the mm-hmm. cheese factory, cheese lodge, whatever the fuck yeah. it was back then. Now it's like a seafood house, and there's a car dealership and a bench. Well... I was coming up that hill, and my headlight was pointing up too high, I guess, because I was coming up the hill. The car didn't see that I was coming, you know? And I was only doing, like, 35. Right yeah, my, my feet were on the highway pegs, man, and I, didn't ha- I did not have forward controls on my mo- motorcycle. So my feet were off the gears and brakes, and all I had was my hands on the throttle and the front brake, you know, and the clutch. And I don't remember it, Pat. The, the car turned left. It was coming... Um, northbound on Grand Boulevard, I was going southbound, and I was approaching 54, coming up that hill. That car was already at the top of the hill, about to make a left turn onto Gray Street, and it turned in front of me. And I hit it head-on with my feet not even on the brakes. I hit it at, you know, cruising speed, 35 miles an hour, and I don't remember it. I didn't see her headlights. I don't remember seeing her headlights. I blacked yeah, out. No, yeah, no. I had a... No, no I, I had like a skater helmet. I had a skid lid. You know those little... Uh, DOT helmets that just cover the top of your head, a mm-hmm. black helmet with a chin strap, open yeah. face, you know. Uh, so what happened? Well, my bike went over the car. It, the bike demolished the front end. It was a, a it was a '94 Chevy Cavalier, okay, mm-hmm. a two door Cavalier, and the front end was demolished, like it hit a tree, like it wrapped around a pole. That's mm-hmm. how hard I hit it wow. head on. But it was towards the right side of the car because she was turning left, you know. So it was like the corner light. So the, the, it was like it hit a tree, but it was a little off center. It was like the tree hit her. Yeah. And then (laughs) the wind, the windshield of the car had a huge indentation and that was me and the bike. Probably, yeah, probably the front end of the bike, the the front tire as it flipped over the car Mm -hmm. or maybe the back seat as it went like 180 degrees and my body because I was on it, you know, and all I recall was like, imagine this, Pat, if you close your eyes with your helmet on. And I hit the helmet like this with my fists, and you just kept your eyes closed. I heard probably fifteen or eighteen thuds, like pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and and but I didn't see anything. I woke up on the side of the road, on the shoulder of the road, in the grass, like in the gravel, and I was facing the intersection of Fifty Four and Grand, and I saw the stoplight, you know, and I was like sitting there, Indian style, if you will, like sitting on my ass. And I looked forward, and I was like, what the fuck? I, dude, I was so cold riding home that night. I put my helmet on for warmth. You know what I mean? I had a T-shirt and jeans on, and I was freezing. Yeah. It was October 22nd. It was cold, and it was a wind, and I was doing 35 miles an hour. You know, The yeah. bike was stuck in third gear after the accident. You know, It was a Honda 400 uh, uh, CMT is what it was. And I put a crash bar and highway pegs on it. It was a cool little Any bike. broken bones? Yeah. He well, no. Um, his thumb hit dude, I had my arm in a sling. I had road rash on my face. I'll show you the pictures, man. I, uh, I had an open wound on my knee. I have broken cartilage in my left knee and my left hand. In the top of my hand, on my left hand, it's been, it'll be, uh, this 2000, thought, 19 he years. it was like no time had passed, and they're like, no, man, it's been 20 minutes. Dude, the guy, the paramedic. How long ago was this? Uh, 2000. So yeah. it'll be 19 years in a week. Wow. And I celebrate it like a birthday every year. 
and I have a beer, and I watch baseball. But this year, there's not a game on, man. There's a, it's an off day. <laughs> there's no scheduled baseball game this year. But there's a game the so day before and the day after. The new this Halloween year, movie comes out on 19th. Yeah. So check this out, though. Celebrate it on your new bike. The next morning, you, you go to, out and crash. To, Dude, <laughs> the next morning, we had to pick his bike Fuck up. that. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Crash. The, the paramedic, me. when I was standing he there, look, I got up to my feet, and I turned around, and I looked I at... I right the obituary. Listen, I looked at the aftermath. There was a debris field in the, in the road. You know, and there was cars stopped and stuff, and I could hear the ambulance coming. I could hear the sirens, you know. And I stand up, and I look backwards, and there's a woman, and she's talking to me like sign language. Like, she was um, uh, deaf or mute or both. And she was like, meh, 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 like that. And she was signing me, you know. And at first, I thought it was like a guardian angel or something, you know. But it turned out it was a witness, you know. Yeah, just my luck. My guardian yeah, angel know? speaks Can't sign even talk. Language. Yeah, you know. You know? <laughs> I know, like. I'm like, tell my dad I love him. <laughs> she can't say it, you know. <laughs> the only sign language I know, I'm screwed. What? So, so uh, I stand up and I think to myself. She's like, my leg listen. hurts. And she's like, his dick hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I look at my I bike. He chipped his penis. I looked at my bike and it had the, it had the license plate from my other bike. I had two motorcycles. And I took the plate from the street legal bike and I put it on this bike because I liked it and I had it registered again. I just bought it, you know. Uh-huh. I just customized it. I just put the pipes on it, you know. And I, that's why I was running it around, you know, illegally with a fake plate on it from my other bike, you know. So you I, got I was in the <laughs> hospital, okay. In the emergency the room, the they, they took my shirt off, you know, and they, they were like people, like nurses, they were looking at me and it was so scary. They're like, you know, talking like, like medical verbiage, like, you know, and uh, the lady looks at me with my nipple rings that I had and she goes, oh, like that. And I'm oh, like, you got I had them and I was like, they're big, you know? you know, so I looked at her like, are you serious? You know, so then the doctor comes in after like 40 minutes and he had my x-rays, and he put them up on the thing so fast, and he pulled them down just as fast as he put them up. And he goes, yeah, you got no broken bones, you're going home tonight. I was like, what? So I had to make a phone call to get picked up to go home from the hospital. Mm-hmm. So I called Philbert, and I was like, don't tell mom and dad. But I wiped out on my motorcycle. And it wasn't, it wasn't my worst. fault. And yeah. I didn't even tell him if he's calling me, he's probably okay. <laughs> yeah, right? So PJ and Linda picked me up at the hospital at like 2 in the morning. And I'm walking out in a hospital gown with a bag of stuff, you know, like a clear bag of stuff, my shirt, my clothes, you know, and they walked so fast, man. I was like, slow down, you know? Oh. So they let me sleep on the couch. Yeah, you took, no, you slept in Brendan's bed. And yeah, in the bed. That's right. Yeah, before he was born. And the next morning I woke up. What and, was the ticket for? Oh, well, yeah. While I was Not in the hospital, licensed. I'm laying down in the hospital in the ER and two state troopers come in. With the cowboy hats, man, like those flat-rimmed hats, you know? And the guy looks at me and he goes, what were you carrying? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, we already checked out your bike at the crime, at the not the crime scene, at the accident scene. What were you carrying? And I went, in what, my right saddlebag, I had one bottle of Miller Lite, <laughs> but I had diarrhea. And that's why I left in the ninth inning. I didn't even watch the end of the game. And I understand that somebody pulled out in front of me. And the beer, I was not drinking, so you can blood test me if you already haven't. I'm fine. I'm not under the influence. And they were like, we already know you're not. We just wanted to know the whole story. So what bike were you riding? And I was like, a uh, Honda CM400T? <laughs> because, well, your plate's for a Yamaha Virago, <laughs> you know? And I was like, uh, I just hadn't gotten around to switching the plates yet, but I have my endorsement and I have a valid tag give me a break. And he goes, here's your break. He goes, you're getting two tickets, one for improper tag and one for driving without uh, a motorcycle endorsement on your license. And all I I didn't, I didn't have it. I didn't have proof of it. Mm -hmm. And I got two tickets and it was like 368 bucks or something like that between the, the both of them. What was the ticket for not having a motorcycle endorsement? It was like, they were both like 180 bucks or something, man. It's 140, 160, whatever it was. They each Probably were your, a lot. Your insurance there, yeah. No, no, man. I've never had problems with my insurance my entire life. I have great insurance, man. I've never fucked up, you know. That didn't touch my insurance, I man. I was trash after that. Though. Oh, yeah, it was. I gave it to Sarah's I remember we went to pick up uh, the next sister's morning. boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, insurance or anything? Steve and Brian Air picked it up. In Steve's you truck, it was cool. Ladies car up that you, you had for that day. Um, I found that bike. I was at a party. I about, think it was her fault. Oh yeah, Kevin but she had, had right she had nothing. She had nothing. 
and it was her fault. She didn't pull out in front of me. She turned left in front of me. And it was her fault, but she'd had no insurance on that Cavalier. And she had three kids, and she was a single mom. And she lived in that duplex where they had, like, a one-bedroom apartment. They, had, they were broke as hell. And, I, I mean, I could have put a lien on their whatever, you know. But I didn't. back then, dude, it was like... She, her, her boyfriend called me and said, I know a friend of the family that owns a body shop and we could fix your bike. And I was like, don't even worry about it. I was like, you know, I could sue you guys. Yeah. I was like, I could totally see you guys, but, um, it was just an ER visit, you know, and you're already, you can't, you know, I'm not going to get anything out of you for how long and he goes, do whatever you got to do. And I was like, don't even worry about it. You know, they were so sorry, man. She was crying at the accident scene. I felt so bad for them. It was an accident, dude. I didn't, I didn't go after them, you know. I still have your helmet. She was a deaf mute. I still have the bag of all my clothes. I have was everything. Was she a deaf mute? No, that was the witness. But, dude, it was a... Uh, oh, that's great. Sh- my witness Listen, is deaf Pat, mute. let me tell you something from what the happened? heart. <laughs> let me tell you something from the heart. <laughs> I'll tell you something from, from the heart, man. I still feel like sometimes, like when we're having conversations like this and we're just having fun, everything's cool, I still feel sometimes that I'm not even here. Like, this is purgatory, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, this isn't even real. Like, I died that explain your friendship with me. (laughs) (laughs) It was, uh, like, nothing, that that was the most influential thing that ever happened to me, by far. It beats having kids. I mean, I literally thought I died. I, I you know, don't get me wrong. My kids are the most important thing that's ever happened to me. That's but pretty much how I felt it, when I. There's when nothing I like that, almost dying, dude. When I was mowing the lawn a couple <laughs> you know, months ago when I, I passed out from heat exhaustion, I thought I was having a stroke and I thought it was over. I said, Oh, he had a grabber. Kids, yeah. Oh, my God. Uncle Ron called me up I and he's like, talk and I was like, Dude, Bye, Ron guy. called me and he was like, Don't don't be uh, alarmed. I'm going to tell you something. Can you sit down? You got a minute? And I was like, what? What's going on? And he's like, It's your brother. He, They think he had a stroke mowing the lawn. In the hospital, they're taking him to the hospital right now. And I beelined over here and I saw the ambulance take you away. I watched it happen. And then I saw uh, Evan at Vince's house because Vince picked up Evan, you know. And um, Nobody visited me at the hospital except Sandy. Well, I... <laughs> On her birthday. But you know what I did do? Did you have the salmon? But you know what I did do? Dude, it's, hold on. You know what I did do? I didn't visit I you at the hospital. You know what I did do? I took you a kid. I took a kid yeah. into my house like and I watched kid. your kid. You know what I mean? That's what I did. It I was the weirdest thing. I didn't I visit you, but I had your I child. Really thought you know? I was gonna die. Yeah, he I was so scared, man. He was already counting your shit. He was already. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like Evan, you love me more anyway, man. I'm your real dad. He was taking your kids. They gave me a chest. Somebody's been kicked in the nuts here before I go home. Starting some shit. Here we go. I'm in the bed like this. I'm all hooked up, and he's kicking me in the balls. Dude, they look at him. Your, he's he's trying trying to take they're your like, kids. you're fine. They're like, you didn't have a stroke. Everything's fine. You have a heart attack. Your enzymes are perfect. It's just, it's just heat stroke. Drink water next time. And I was like, right. that's it, really? And, and then, then, and then for dad. sixty straight days, he did not drink. Nope. He did not hang 65 out. Sixty-five days. I didn't see him for sixty-five days, man. Maybe I saw you like once or twice. I did not push dad, the envelope. Dad though. told me that happened to him once at the golf course, and he oh, left man. in the middle of the game and drove home. He's like, I barely made it home. I got in and I laid down on the floor. He's like, I couldn't move for four hours. Bro, like, that that's sucks, exactly what man. happened yeah. to me, Dad. Your hands curl up and you can't control. Well, I don't ever want that. Everything's all like, like totally tense. I thought it was like rigor mortis, like you're dying. It's Irish it's in our blood. Thing. And you know what? I'm glad I'm more you know Italian. What happened, Kevin? I rolled something. over on my side and instantly I woke Did you up. Eat a potato? No, should have. I got two bags of fluid. I bet you did. Saline. And then they were like, that was okay, scary, so, uh, you know, we don't have any reason scared to keep me, here. I'm like, I know, you need the bed, but uh, I still don't feel right. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me, dude. Uh, I, I was oh, so, me. so scared. I literally thought I was saying goodbye. And Evan was crying. Hayden was going, Dad, come on, wake up. Wake I called up, your wife. Dad, wake up. And I'm I, like, I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. I called your wife, and she's all like, oh, man, this is like how my dad died. And I'm like, no, he's not going to die. That's it's not fine. how her dad died. Her dad was eating a plate of spaghetti in the middle of the night and face planted into a massive heart attack. Well, I mean, you do like and, pasta. But she was there. I like the other story better, though. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. We're trying to, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take off, fellas. What? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing it's 10. <clears throat> Hiccups. Wow, it's only 9.30. I should stick around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go get us another beer. Uh, excuse me. I'll get rid of these some hiccups. Chips. Yeah, some chips. You guys should go up to the corner. Oh, oh man. 
do? I broke the chain. What'd you do, man? Maybe, I don't know. Nothing's happening. Is your labia okay? What? Nothing. I may, I may, I think my, wait, no, what? my neck. Your back? Oh, my neck. And your crack? I think my <laughs> neck is broken. Man, let's get, get it up it. before it get, Phil gets back. <laughs> well, I do think I broke your dad's chair. That's, oh my that God. That didn't sound good. That's not my dad's chair. Your mom's chair? I think it's, yeah. No, I'll probably, you know, I'll tell your mom that silver broke. Well, you shouldn't be breaking chairs. Oh, man, how do I well, get rid of hiccups, man? You be providing me with something with a little more sturdiness to it. These are probably some of those made in China shit, which our president said we shouldn't be fucking with right now. Yeah, you're going to so get go like buy some kind some, of Go buy a replacement poison. that's made in America. Yeah, I'll, I'll get out right now and do that, man. Yeah, my Kia. I'll go to Ikea yeah, in my in your Kia. In my Kia. That's probably made in America. Wow, Phil, that's a lot of beer. Oh, thank you. Oh, excuse me. I had six fucking... Oh, man. Chips. Lost the yeah. beers before we even came over. Did you get chips? Yeah, Phil. No, I didn't even look. Yeah. Well, at least we're looking uh, out for the dogs right now, you know? You even got a koozie. I mean, you're in style right that's now. That's a good... Oh, my God, I got hiccups so bad. You know, we've been live on Spreaker this whole time. <laughs> if, um... What? If, um... If, um, what? Your parents aren't home. <laughs> They're not home yet. Have them... Peanut butter. Stop and get some... <laughs> peanut butter from Hagos. Let me tell them. Or something. Oh, yes, Phil, don't. Home. Man, don't rat us out. Home soon? Bring some chips. Phil's always ratting us out, man. It's like, well, we could scatter so fast. <laughs> you know? Phil, you're in charge of putting the dogs back, okay? No, I'm done. I'm yeah, you know, it's Dude, all I you. I ghost, like... No. You're in charge you'll of the turn dogs. Around, you'll be like, Phil, put the dog in, I'll be gone. You'll no, I'm like, delegating man. responsibility right now. <sighs> yeah, I'm the team leader right now. I still got to fire. I'm Matt fucking up. Maverick, man. My bike might not even start. Who, you could walk it home. <gasps> you I just leave it where it's at. Don't yeah, I have hiccups. Thanks, Pat, for noticing. Yeah, can you, I like, can fix it. please, how? Take as many deep breaths as you possibly can, <gasps> and then hold them as long as, as long just as you keep can. taking and hold it as long as you can. And you can't take it any longer. <clears throat> I'm doing exhale it. quickly, I'm doing and it. they will be gone. Ah, they're gone. That's what I do. Pat, you're like a saint. Oh, they're not gone. You gotta keep doing. You didn't do it enough, <gasps> and you gotta inhale more. <sighs> Fill your lungs up as possible. You're not trying to fucking hyperventilate, dumbass. You're not trying to hold as much air as you can. Him, I got a bag. Give him a paper bag and tell yeah. him The key is if you fill your your lungs up with air, oh, light you out the air bubbles. I'm light headed. I got it up. No. Yeah. Oh. Gone. <laughs> Okay. Shut that dog up. That was a little dumb. Roxy. Hey. Come here, Foxy. You look at him. Hey. Come on. Oh, man. We're busted. You look at him and tell him to shut the dog up. So busted. He's some sort of remote control those dogs work off. Yeah. No, I think he's... No, the dog's back. He came straight back and tried to lick up your beard. Hey, man. It's a good dog right there. Good girl. Um, <gasps> Look in your beer again. I'm gonna jump at the pool. I gotta wash this fucking bug spray off. Uh, we gotta rinse the deck out here too. Pat, you're good at rinsing dicks, right? No. You're good at rinsing dicks. Yeah. You know, so kind of make sure they get nice and wet and clean. Uh. No. <sighs> so Kevin, there's this there's this guy, right? He's at the grocery store and he's shopping, right? Okay. And he goes to the to the line to check out, and there's this woman in front. She's got some fruit, and she's got some potatoes and some cans and everything. And he's looking kind of cans, at it, man. he's like, he's got nice cans. And he goes, ah, oh, you must be single, right? And she goes, yeah, how did you know? And he goes, because you're fucking ugly. <laughs> wow, that was, man. That was very nice. That's so. why I kicked him in the balls, you know, back in 83. <laughs> back in 83, I kicked him in the balls for jokes like that. I can see my hiccup trick worked well. So Pat, I'm still trying it. So, Pat, there's these two black chicks, right? And they were oh, God. Pictures, so they, go to they go to Walmart. And they're at the photo studio. Yeah. It's and new the guy's stuff. like, all right, sit on a chair over there, get close to each other. That's all right, all right, smile. And he puts his head under the little thing, right? And he's like, all right, we're getting ready. I'm going to focus. And one so, why he said? What he said? 
And the other one says, he said he going to focus. What? And the other one says, both us? Both us. He's going to fuck both us. <laughs> oh, man. You're burning up all your bits. He said he going to focus. <laughs> both us? It's always better if you explain it. <laughs> Come on, Pat. That's funny. Yeah. I don't see that as being funny. Um, man, uh, shut that dog up, Phil. Clouds. Rain is sporadic. He's planning Rain his hut trip home now. Along my pond. You, you, you're on your bike. You keep an eye out on the fucking rain. Right? Yeah, man, look it's up. beautiful. All you gotta do is look up. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, Just go right yeah, into the yeah, desert. Dude. Put it this way. Yeah. What choice do you have? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna go when you go. You know? Shh. God bless it. These hiccups are getting worse. Your, th- your theory made Foxy, it worse. Foxy, come on. <laughs> My work is complete. <laughs> I gotta drink this beer upside down. Oh my god. I'm getting hiccups. Uh, you have a good oh, yeah. The, uh, uh, oh, man. I feel like uh, 10 bucks. Because I'm 30 years old, soon to be 31, but I still kick it real like a kick from a gun. Can I be your hype guy? Yeah. I'll hiccup. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's do this, man. Rap. I'll hic- hiccup in the background. When I hit the stage, <laughs> I get in a rage, but some people won't buy it because they don't believe my Dude, age. Dude, your world is in just a spiral right now with those hiccups. <laughs> It's going to suck so bad on multiple levels. Even trying to laugh oh, is you're gonna painful. Shit. You're going you're to shit your pants in a He's second. He's going to shit himself. Watch. Watch. We're going to have know. new anal concussion stories in a minute. It's a uh, hiccup. You already shit the chair earlier hiccup. tonight. No, I did not. Yeah, he's going to hiccup stage fart. He's going to hiccup stage fart. You guys are dicks. A hiccup, a hiccup part. I gotta delete this, all of this. The hiccup part. Why would you delete the only good part? Your hiccup part. <laughs> <laughs>